Thank you. Yeah. This is open. EG, how you feeling? Good. Great. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, we'll go with Andrew Greif to start. Hey, Paul. Uh, Doc was mentioning that he felt like before the shutdown in March, obviously you guys win 10 of 11, probably the best you guys have looked all year to that point. Um, how he felt like you guys were inching closer to that level of rhythm right now. How would you just kind of assess just where you guys feel like you're at entering these playoffs? Um, I think we're, we're getting back towards that. Um, you know, rhythm is definitely coming together. Chemistry is coming back together. Um, I think we're at a good spot right now. Uh, for us, it's, it's just fine tuning it. And I think we're doing that. Move over to Miriam. Uh, hey, BG. Um, so congrats on, on getting here. Um, you guys, so I, I, my question is obviously, Doc said that you guys will be disappointed if you don't win the whole thing. But, um, but what, what is your mindset going into a playoffs with a team like this? Is it championship or bust? Or are you guys more philosophical about it? How do you approach it? Um, I mean, we want to win the championship. That's the reason we committed to be here. Um, it's, it's just, you know, as simple as that. We, sh we should have one goal and we have one goal. Um, and that's to win it. Um, but I think also we're looking at this thing from a long-term perspective as well, um, that if it doesn't happen, um, you know, this is only going to build us even further going down the stretch, going into next season. Um, but first things first, we're, we're here to compete for that championship and, and nothing else, um, you know, matters but to win it. We'll take a question from down Orlando from Chris Maddox. Well, the, uh, having experienced two weeks of, of seeding games and the environment, do you go to the playoffs feeling like you know, anything can happen, that this is just so different that things surprising could, could pop up? I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's the bubble. Um, guys are shooting it well. I don't think it's that much pressure um, on guys being in a hostile environment. Um, so that, that, that definitely changes things, um, you know, give the Phoenix Suns credit for what they did here. Um, I think also it's, it's the bubble, you know what I mean? Anything can happen here and um, you saw it with them. Um, they, play, they came here with the goal. Um, unfortunately, they didn't make it, but they did everything they could to make it. Um, but that is, it is what it is, bubble. Do you feel any more comfortable having experienced the month plus in here as you look ahead to the next month with you know, kind of how you deal with the environment, you know, off the court and, and on. I said again. The, having experienced the bubble for the last month, you know, the living of the day to day, do you feel any more comfortable with, you know, the outside basketball stuff, you know, whether it's how you do your routines and whatever you go through? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, the longer you're here, the more comfortable you get. Um, just from a surrounding standpoint. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. This is what we have. This is what we. Where this is home for us, um, hopefully for the next month and a half, two months, however long this is. Um, so you got to, that's first, first thing is first, you got to be comfortable because uh, it's going to show in your plate if you're not. Uh, so I think you just got to adapt early. We'll take another one from Orlando at Cassidy. Paul, um, so what's up? Nice <laughs> to see you. Good to see you. So Trez is in quarantine for a lot longer than you are in quarantine. Have you guys been reaching out to him? I know he's been on Zoom to practice, but. Yeah, and dropping off food or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, nah, we've been we've been keeping tabs on Trez. We'll go and uh, you know knock on his door. Um, you know, it, it's funny uh, after practice when we walk in the hallway, he hears us talking, and he's like the dude peeking through the peephole. Uh, <laughs> so you know, we we've been we've been trying to do everything, um, just what he dealt with, um, the passing of his grandmother, and now he has to sit with that for ten days or whatever, however long it's been being in this room. Uh, so we, we try, you know, just to be around them, support them. Um, it's, it's tough to go through that and then have to deal with that in a room for 10 days. So we just try to be with them as much as possible. Move over to, we'll move over to Ohm. PG, what's going on? Um, you, you and Kawhi haven't gotten a ton of time during the regular season and then the pandemic hit. And then you guys are looking to come into this bubble, really kind of getting on the same page going into the playoffs. I was wondering, what have you and Kawhi gained 
in this last like month and a half in the bubble entering the playoffs is really going to help you guys? Um, being in the bubble. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, just like uh, being on the bubble and on the court together, what you guys have learned. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, same stuff. We spent a lot of time out of the bubble. Um, I visited him. He visited me. We spent time in the bubble. Um, for us, it's, it's just more and more being together, uh, learning each other, figuring each other out. Um, the more we're together, the more and the better the chemistry gets. Um, to where, I mean, for us, it's, you know, guys like the ball in different places. They like to play a certain way. Um, it's just getting an understanding of, of where he likes the ball, his space and surrounding him, um, and vice versa. That's all it really comes down to. When you said out of the bubble, you meant like, uh, do you mean during the, the season suspension or like during the season? Uh, during the season suspension. Oh, what did you guys do together? Don't matter. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, we'll move next. Uh, we'll take two more. Uh, next, we'll go to Tomer. Hey, Paul, just curious, you and Kawhi were kind of in a really good groove as a one-two punch before the hiatus. I'm curious, do you feel like it's gotten better since then? Has, has that helped at all? I mean, I know you guys have gotten better uh, health-wise, but has it gotten better chemistry on the court together-wise? Yeah, yeah, it has. Like I said, um, we visited each other. I went down to where he was at. He came down to where I was at. We spent time together. Um, the whole group did, not just me and him um, on occasions. Okay. Um, the whole group kind of spent time together through the, the hiatus. So um, I think I think we made up a lot of time, um, especially time that was lost not being together. I think we made all that back back up um, during this hiatus. And, um, you know, it, it, it kind of expedited this process to get here. Great. And we'll finally go to Kurt Sandoval. Hey, Paul, thank you. Uh, if you guys do get to your goal of playing for an NBA championship, that's – almost two months down the road. So that means you'd only been in the bubble so far, one third of the way. Wondering if you could speak to how you and this team is doing mentally. Um, you know, it's tough, it's tough. Um, you know, when especially you calling back home and you talking to family and, um, you know, it, 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 it's, I think what makes it so hard being here is, is finding the schedule. Um, because there's not much stuff to do here and it gets to a point where you've done everything. Um, so I, I, I kind of felt at a point my days was like running into each other um, and it was hard to kind of break that up. Uh, but I think the biggest thing was just trying to find a schedule um, and sticking to it. Um, and then here and there I'll sprinkle in some different stuff just to make it a little different. Uh, so I got fished out the second I got here. So, uh, you know, it was just coming up with different things to do, different ideas. And um, I think the biggest thing was just getting out, getting fresh air, making that an emphasis. Great, PG. Thanks. Have a great practice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.